The king is trapped, nowhere to go, and all of his warriors have been killed. However, it's not a real king or real warriors, but rather the game of pawns, bishops, rooks, a queen, and of course, the main piece, the king. Giving players a limited amount of time to capture your opponent's pieces and lock in the king for a checkmate before your opponent manages to strategically destroy your invasion. The game of chess has unknown origins as to who exactly created it. Many legends claim it dates back to the ancient Chinese war era, while others state it was India who created it. But the documented known history of chess dates back 1,500 years to the country of India. During the 6th century, a game known as Shaturanga was known to be used to strategize war attacks, proven to be successful with many kings using the game as a backbone strategy for their empires. You see, the name Chaturanga translates to the four branches of military, the infantry, cavalry, elephantry, and chariotry. The branches would be represented on the chessboard as the pawns, knights, bishops, and the rooks giving the heads of empires a method to plan strategic defenses and attacks by simply mastering the art of chess. The nearby Persians would also become fascinated with the game of chess, where common terms such as king and checkmate were evolved. As in Persian language, the word shah translates to king, and shamat means the king is helpless, known as checkmate in modern chess. Many peaceful leaders understood the power of chess and how it could bring lifelong knowledge to individual humans by simply playing a game and made it their lifelong destiny to spread the word and instructions on how to play the game of chess. During the 1500s, Buddhist pilgrims and Silk Road traders would earn a living by bartering the chessboards and pieces ready to play. It slowly began moving far east towards China, where variants would be derived including a game often played on the intersection of the lines rather than within the squares. With such popularity of the new game known as Chaturanga, religious leaders became skeptical claiming one should be weary of games which led to an outright ban of chess in countries such as France and Poland. Many began explaining that chess is an expression of human free will, not to be compared with other games which derive from just luck and chances known as gambling. By the 15th century, the public would get what they wanted to be able to play the popular game of chess and use it to strategize, a stepping stone for life, always making sure you have a backup plan. The game would be extensively developed in Europe after surviving a series of prohibitions and religious sanctions, creating new exciting variants and competitive chess tournaments. However, with such popularity, a dark truth of death would derive from the power of chess in the wrong hands, including the murder of a Russian scientist in 1959, where two men became violent over a misunderstanding in their game of chess known as the Vostok Station. After many warmongering leaders mastered the art of chess, they would use these strategies to conquer new lands, wiping out entire armies using basic chess strategies, such as a king sending his pawns toward the battle first and having the strong attackers sitting shortly behind. Humanity would pay a heavy price with thousands if not millions of lives lost during war times using the strategies of a basic ancient game developed by an unknown creator. The game of chess can be seen in modern military regimes where countries will send men on the ground depicting the pawn on a chessboard to initiate the battle, while stronger attackers such as tanks and airstrikes sit shortly behind ready to defend their pawns. With a variety of strategies to offensively attack an enemy, chess also has countless strategies to be used to defend your empire.
By the early 1800s, chess had been adopted by civilized nations across the earth, with the first modern chess tournament being held in London during the year 1851, with a German man known as Adolf Anderson winning the competition. Anderson had mastered the art of chess, being hailed as the leading chess master with a brilliant and energetic attack known as the romantic attacking style. Chess would continue to be passed down for generations, turning it into a multi-million dollar industry by the 21st century. Now played in worldwide tournaments, down to phone apps, online game streamers, and more, chess has become one of the oldest board games to withstand the evolution of time. Thank you for watching. Make sure to give a small like or a comment below, which helps a small channel like us grow.